वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू ऑन द चैनल मैथ्स विद मुनीर आई होप दैट यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट एंड वाचिंग माय वीडियोस सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू कैरी ऑन द टॉपिक परसेंटेज जिस दैट वी हैव स्टार्टेड अर्लीयर सो इफ यू आर न्यू टू माय चैनल देन प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट टू चेक द प्लेलिस्ट ऑफ परसेंटेज वेयर आई हैव वन और आई गेस टू वीडियोस वेयर आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग द प्री रिक्विजिट ऑफ परसेंटेज एंड हाउ एक्चुअली वी कैन यूज इट इन आवर डेली लाइफ so we are going to solve another word problem today related the related to the percentage please don't forget to have your copy and pen with you so that you could note it down every single step and that is going to be very helpful for you in this video we are not going to discuss only this problem but i am going to give you some more technique that we can use and apply in order to to calculate the percentage very easily Okay, so the question says in 2011 a train carried 8% more passenger than in 2010. In 2012 it carried 8% more passenger than in 2011. So basically we don't know how many passengers the train is carrying initially in 2010. So we are going to solve these type of question with the assumption method. We are going to assume that the number of there were some passengers in 2010 and that how we are going to represent those passenger you will be seeing in a minute so find the percentage increase in the number of train passenger from 2010 to 2012 okay in order to solve this question what we are going to do since initially there are num in 2010 we don't know how many passengers were there so we are going to assume that the number of passengers that we were having initially in 2010 are x so let the train carried x passenger x passengers in 2012 okay so this is what we assume initially now before going further i would like to give you a quick overview about how we increase or decrease a number because i am going to use that technique in this question so i want you to have Uh, full attention so let's suppose that we have a number 70 and i want to increase that number 70 by 40% i want to increase that number 70 by 40% so there are two ways in order to do, do that the first way is 7 increase i n me i n c r okay increase 70 by 40% so what i am going to do now first i will be finding what does actually or how much 40% is of 70 so i will be finding 40 per per cent of means multiply 70 this zero with this zero this zero with this zero four times seven is going to give you 28 so we know now we know that so 40% of 70 is basically 28 so since the question was about increase so 70 plus 28 is going to give you uh, 98 98 so we can solve this question in another method as well so the question was about increase 70 by 40% so what we can do directly 140% of 70 why is it so so 100%, 100 is basically your 70 and we want to increase it by 40% so it means that we have to add 40% with 100% that's going to become 140% of 70 why this method is more convenient or more easy for you you will be seeing in a minute so 140 per cent of 70 this zero with this zero this zero with this zero 14 times 7 is again going to give you 98 so the two method i have given to you the two method are in front of you you can compare them easily that in this question we found how much 40% is and then we added it but over here we did that directly so i prefer this method because it is more easier and you, you sometime you are going to forget that you have to add or you have to subtract it but in this way you can do it more easily so that is not the only case where we can find the increase by by increasing a number of how much but we can also find the decrease let's suppose that if the question was decrease 70 by 40% decrease 70 by 40% so if i am using the method 2 over here how i am going to do that okay 100% minus 40% that is going to give you 60% of 70 so simply if we i want to decrease 
70 by 40 percent so it means that I just have to find 60 percent of 70 so 60 percent of 70 this zero with this zero this zero with this so 6 times 7 is 42 so if you if you use this method again so first we'll be find, finding 40 percent of 70 we've already found that it's 28 so subtract 28 from 70 what you are going to get okay 42 so we you see in both the cases we found the same result so I'm going to use the technique 2 in this question okay so I'm assuming that you have now have a better understanding about how do we increase a particular number or how we decrease a number with the technique 2 so the train carried X passenger in 2010 it says now 8% more passenger in 2010 8% more passenger means that 100 plus 8 so in 2011 it's going to be 108 percent of 2010 now 108 percent means 100 of means multiply and in 2010 we were having x passenger so simplify this we know that there are two zeros in the denominator so every time when we are having a number like 10 100 or 1000 in the denominator we can divide it very easily so just count the number of zeros that you are having and put a point after two digits so that is going to become 1.08x so we got that in 2011 train is carrying 1.08x passenger okay now in 2012 again the question says in 2012 it carried 8% more passenger than in 2011 so 8% more passenger again mean 108 percent of now we will not be writing 2010 but it says 8 percent more passenger than in 2011 and how many passengers we have in 2011 they are 1.08 x 1.08 x now so this would be 108 percent percent of 1.08 x 1.08 x okay once you simplify this it's going to become 1.08 multiply by 1.08 x okay so once you multiply 1.08 with 1.08 x you are going to get let's see 108 with 108 8 times 8 64 and 8 times 1 is 8 and 1 times 8 0 1 so 4 6 6 1 1 so we are having point here after 2 so 2 plus 2 is 4 so 1 2 3 4 1 point 1 6 6 4 x so in 2012 these are the number of passengers that we are getting so the question was about find the percentage increase in the number of train passenger from 2010 to 2012 so in 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 this question we know that in 2012 it carried more passenger so how many passengers we are having in 2012 1.1664 x minus how many passengers were there in 2010 x divided by x why is it so so 2012 minus 2010 divided by the number of passengers that we were having in 2010 why is it so because we need to find the percentage increase as compared to 2010 so that is why we are dividing with x because x is the number of passengers that we have in 2010 okay we know that in order to find percentage whatever fraction you have you just have to multiply it by 100 percent okay so i am going to erase this portion to have some more space now you can take x common from here then it would be 1.1664 minus 1 over x multiplied by 100 percent x with x cancels so once you are subtracting 1 from it you are going to get 0 0.1664 multiplied by 100 percent 
so if you are multiplying with 100 so if you are having two zeros this point is going to shift towards the right side two digits so it would be 16.64 percent so that's what we got that 16.64 percent is the number of passengers that are being increased from 2010 to 2012 so i hope that you have got this question you are not you haven't got only this question about how to solve it but i have also given you a technique in which you can easily find out how much if we increase or decrease a particular number so if you are new to my channel then please don't forget to subscribe and share this video as much as you can